G'day everyone, how are you going? Uh, this is my first apps video. Um, welcome aboard. Uh, if you're someone new who's just starting with apps, uh, I'm going to bypass the first topic, which is bivariant data. Mainly because you've probably already done that, um, and it's probably not going to be useful to you just now. So I'm starting with uh, sequences, uh, with a look into arithmetic and geometric sequences. Now if you are an app student on my channel, you've already got a whole lot of videos that are done from Year 11 methods. Year 11 methods actually cover this material and a little bit more, so you can also look at those videos. Just be aware that that course goes a little bit further than what your course does, so please, please check your syllabus as to what you need, uh, and it's the syllabus you need to check, not the textbook. Check the syllabus, that it will tell you what you need. So here we go, let's make a start. Sequences, when we're talking about sequences, we're talking about a set of numbers that have some sort of pattern to them. There's something going on that we can link one to another, okay? In this case here, this is my first sequence here, and I'm doing an arithmetic progression. What does arithmetic really mean? It kind of means constant addition or subtraction. Now, you can see constant addition as obviously adding a number, let's say two, you can see constant subtraction as adding a negative number. If I keep adding negative 2, then my sequence goes down. If I keep adding positive 2, my sequence goes up. So you can see it as constant addition, or if you like, constant addition of a negative number to go down. Either way, that's, that's just a minor little point. Let's look at this guy here. 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, dot, 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 meaning it goes on forever. If it didn't go on forever, it would go dot, 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 and then some number as my finish point of that sequence. But dot, dot, dot means onwards forever. So what's happening with this one? Well, when you have a look, look at this. To go there, I've got to add 3. To go there, I've got to add 3. So adding 3 is the thing that's happening. How did I figure that out? Well, in this case, it's pretty easy. But look at this. If I went 14 minus 11, so if I did 14 minus 11, I get 3. Well, that 3 is what we call the constant difference. It's the constant thing that I'm adding each time. It's the difference between successive, one after another, successive terms of my sequence. Maybe that's a point I should talk about as well. Each of these are called a term, okay? So this is what we would call T1. It's the first term in my arithmetic progression or in my sequence. This would be T2, T3, T4, and onwards. So each term has a number, and the numbers are sequential. So each successive term is just adding three. This here, this D part, that's what we call our difference, or D. So D is referred to our difference each time. When we look at a recursive equation, there are lots of words coming in here. You might have to watch this two or three times. When we talk about recursive, recursive means referring to the term before. Okay? If something is recursive, it's following something else. It's referring to the term before. So this term here, this is saying the term number that is one after some term n. See that like in an equation like x. It's the next one after n. So to get the next one after n, I look at the current term and I add the difference. Let's put that practically. If I'm sitting here, I'm at t4, and I want to know what t5 is, then what I've got to do is add the difference, 11, plus 3 will get me right to there, won't it? So in this case, if I wanted to go and look at T6, I need to take T5 and add 3. So if I want to get to T6, I need to take T5 and add 3. So what I can do, I can write a formula here for what I need to do. So here we go. We leave this the same. Tn plus 1, because that's going to write the general formula. I don't want to term it in specific terms. Equals Tn plus the difference of 3. So that's going to give me my equation of how do I get to the next number. I take the current one and add 3. 
but I also need to give a starting term. Also need to give a starting term. T1, T1 is equal to 2, so I write that in. Now, I came up with this little uh, uh, idea of how I could explain why do we need a formula referring to some other term and a starting point, okay? And I said, you know what? An arithmetic progression is like a blind man climbing a ladder. I know. Oof. Why would you? Let's just play the game. So a blind man, I've got to tell the blind man where the first step is. I've got to say, look buddy, the first step is 15 centimetres off the ground. He goes, oh, okay, no worries. Yeah, yeah, I've got that, I've got that. So he gets his foot on the first step, so he knows where he is. But then he's like, well, hang on, how big are the steps? I, I, I don't know. He doesn't want to stand up there and be swinging his leg trying to find it. So I've got to tell him the difference between each step. So if he knows that the steps are 15 centimetres off the ground to start, and then if he knows that each step is 20 centimetres, he goes, oh, okay, yes, yes, right. So there I am on the first step, and he goes, I know how much I've got to lift my foot to get onto the next one. And from there, he can climb the whole ladder or the whole flight of stairs, because he knows the pattern. He knows what's happening each time, and therefore knows where to put his foot. So arithmetic progressions, see them like a blind man climbing steps or climbing a ladder. That's going to help you to see what information you need to give the guy. Okay. Now, what we can also do is do a non-recursive formula. Okay. Now, because it now says non-recursive, I don't want it referring to the term before. Okay. What I want the non-recursive formula to do is just get me straight to the term that I want. So this is the formula that we use. Now, if you look in my methods videos, I derived this whole formula, okay? And I did this one over here as well. But for now, we don't need to worry too much. Please have a watch if you want. It's there. I'll link it in the description. Here we go. This is our formula. We just take the same numbers that we've got here. So the 3 and the 2, let's put them in. Tn equals a 2 plus n minus 1 times 3. Now the advantage of this formula is if you say I want to get to step 10, you just put 10 in here and calculate. You want to get to step 15, put 15 in, calculate. So you can jump straight to where you're going. Now back to that analogy of the blind man climbing the stairs, my analogy here is you walked into the lift and you hit third floor. You don't care how far apart the floors are spaced. You hit the third floor, and boom, you're right there. Okay? So this is like getting in, in a lift. You're in the lift, you hit the floor, boom, you're up to it. This is a blind man climbing stairs. He needs to know every step. Can't miss a step, needs to know every one. Okay? Hopefully that little, uh, little idea, that little analogy helps. Now, all of this, all of this is arithmetic progressions. Okay? Meaning that we've got a constant addition or subtraction. Okay? This is one sort of idea. Park that one right there for me. Okay? Now let's look at geometric progressions. Geometric progressions, they are ones where we're not looking for a constant addition or subtraction. We're actually now looking at constant multiplication or division. Now, in a similar way, I could add a negative number, and that's the same as subtracting. If I multiply by a number bigger than 1, then my terms are going to be getting bigger. If I multiply by a number that is less than 1, between 0 and 1, my terms will get smaller. That's the same as dividing. So think about this. I can multiply by a half, or I can divide by 2. They're going to end up doing the same thing. Okay, check that out if you're not sure. Here's a sequence. You can see I've followed through in a very similar fashion here. Here's a sequence. Now, what's happening each time? Well, I think we're multiplying by 3. It looks like we're multiplying by 3. Now, how did I figure that out? It was pretty easy to see here, so this kind of worked for me, didn't it? It was D of Tn plus 1 minus Tn. Over here, I'm doing a similar thing. But because of the multiply-divide idea, I'm actually going to say that 
R, which R is my constant ratio. We don't have a difference anymore. We have a ratio. So R is my common ratio. That's equal to Tn plus 1. That's the next term divided by the current term. Okay. So let's check this out. If I did, here we go, T1, T2, T3. If I did T3, that'd go here, divided by T2, that'd go here, 18 divided by 6 is going to give me 3. In a similar way, 6 divided by 2 is going to give me 3. 54 divided by 18 is going to give me 3. Each one of these is going to be 3. So I'll just throw an example in here. Let's go 18 divided by 6 will equal 3. So my common ratio in this sequence is 3. Once I've got that sorted, then I can start looking at my formulas. This formula is my geometric recursive formula. Okay, all on the same one. Recursive, geometric. Notice how it's referring to the term before, and therefore I've got to give a starting term. Okay? Any recursive formula must have a starting term. Okay? Always. These questions in exam. One mark will be for this, one mark for this. You miss this out, you only get 50% in the question. You've got to keep that in there. So, in this sequence here, I would write Tn plus 1 equals R, common ratio, 3 times Tn, and T1 equals 2. Okay? That is my recursive formula. Recursive formula. Non-recursive formula, same as this guy over here, does not refer to a starting term. I don't need a starting term here. But what can I do? Well, the numbers are the same. Here's the A, here's the R. Well, I already have the R here and the A here. So just, just drop them on in. Tn equals A, starting term, 2, times R, common ratio, to the power of N minus 1. Now, this is where we've got to be careful. See how I put a dot there to show multiplication? That's okay, but do not mistake this as 2.3. It's not. You might find it handy to actually put a multiply in there so you don't mistake that for a 2.3. The second problem, can you please, please, please be aware that this does not equal, does not equal 6 to the power of n minus 1. No, 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 this does not equal this. Okay, common mistake. I know you'll be in an exam flying on through, won't even think, oh, 2 times 3, that's 6, I'm away. No. Remember your indice laws. Indice laws, this sort of thing can only be multiplied together if they are the same base. And even then, when you would multiply them together, you're going to add the powers, okay, which changes it again. So, the short answer, don't change it from here. This is absolutely fine as an answer. Do not do this. This is wrong. Just leave it like this. When you put it into your calculator, the calculator, as long as you put a multiply, will figure it out. Okay? If you're doing it manually, then work out that part there, get an answer for that, and then multiply it by A or, or 2 in this case. Okay? Look, guys, there's a lot in this. There's a lot in this, right? Please, 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 if you're on this topic, you're unsure, Watch this video. I'll link the other ones down below from the methods one. Uh, they go into a little more detail and they show where this and where this comes from. How did I get that? Okay, I'll link them. Have a watch of them. But be aware that with apps, you're never going to have to derive this, as in show me where it comes from. Never going to have to derive this. It's all about using it and being able to use it and show, oh, I can work things out and give you a formula or I can work things out and get terms further on. Hope this has helped, guys. I'm going to keep doing apps videos. Share them with your friends, other schools. If I can help someone, email me at chris.simpson at cword.edu.au. I'll put that in the description of this video too. Thanks very much.